Artificial intelligence. How many times have you heard of it lately? When we think of AI, we imagine that robots will no longer be humans and take control of the world. In reality, the application of these technologies is not fantastic. It's a mathematical model that we encounter almost on a daily basis. In my school project, I'm using a form of AI called Neural Networks. It's a computer simulation of the mechanism of her brain. When we observe an object, we can note some information, its shape, its color. For each of this information, neurons in a particular region of her brain activate. They transmit an electrical impulse. Depending on the neurons that activate their activation threshold and their interconnections, her brain is able to differentiate between objects. It is a model that we implement by computer. However, when we are born, her brain doesn't know all the possible combinations. I can hardly imagine an object that I've never seen. I have to look at this object several times to form a detailed picture in my mind. Her brain, therefore, requires a learning phase. In this case, what happens when we are a baby? The computer model has the same constraint. This is called machine learning. The subject of my project concerns speech recognition. How with machine learning can we differentiate the words that are spoken? First, we have to transform the sound into an image. I choose a spectrogram as a representation. To differentiate the smallest details, the neural network I use needs a lot of layers. We talk about deep learning, but as such, that's rather inefficient. It has limitations during the learning phase. So, the technique used for a few years to do deep learning is a gate inspired by natural mechanism. We use convolutional neural networks. It's a layer of defined mathematical operators which detect features such as an outline or shape in a certain direction of the image. Thus, it's a set of combinations for an image that makes recognition. My work focuses on the dimensioning of these mathematical operators, convolution matrices. I need to determine a value for the number of filters, their size and other specialized layers to associate. Finally, I managed to achieve an efficiency of 96%. But the challenge is not there. Trying to recognize a voice never learned by the network, I can't exceed 20%. Today, the main limitation of machine learning is the use database. I am trying to think about solution for my restricted set of voice records. Maybe a pretreatment of the song. I hope to find some ideas in the future. Thank you for attention.